All right, back again with another episode of Stuff From My Collection that is very special to me. We're getting into very heartfelt territory here with demo discs, specifically the PlayStation Underground Magazine demo discs. Uh, I just looked it up to confirm because I've kind of lost track, lost count of it all over the years. There were, uh, according to Wikipedia, 17 of these, and there, in the beginning at least, were four per, um, well, what do they call? Per um, volumes? Yeah, volumes. So there's issue one, two, three, four, volume one, issue one, two, three, four, and volume two, and so on. Uh, these were produced by Sony. Uh, so there were four in a year, and that was so they were released quarterly, like every three months. And back in my day, this was the best. You could uh, pay Sony 20, I think it was $20 a year for four issues. I don't think it was $20 an issue. Uh, and they would send you a double disc, demo disc, with all kinds of propaganda and promotional material for PlayStation. So you could watch it, listen to it, and, and ideally tell everyone how awesome PlayStation was. Uh, so I'm going to go through the ones I have. I have uh, the first eight volumes. Uh, this is number one. And you can... let's see. You can't tell in the video... Um, it just feels it just feels so good. Their cardstock, their printing was so good. Um, I forgot I bought most of these uh, from someone on the internet from eBay several years ago. So it has, I think it has, some of them have his uh, address on them. I'll have to make sure not to flip those over. Uh, so let's look. Uh, volume 1 here. I just did it, didn't I? Um, these just came in the mail, shrink-wrapped like this, uh, so some of them could get very messed up. Uh, I don't want to hit the uh, camera cord there. Um, so here's our two discs. Just beautiful 90s design. Uh, and then a little glued-in pamphlet about what you're going to see. Let me try to slide this over. There we go. In this issue, Kill Time and Opponents with interactive demos of Twisted Metal 2, Jet Moto, NFL Game Day 97, and Cool Borders. You can't win if you're not in. You're automatically entered with your paid subscription to PlayStation Underground to win a, gosh, like a 37-inch TV. Wow, that would just be amazing. Does it say? Actually, 27-inch. Even smaller. Beautiful. It was, let me tell you, it was a different time. So we had a little uh, propaganda material in there, and then how to use a CD. We had to be told that all the time. Uh, did I just do it again? Oh boy. All right, so that's that's issue one. Um, I got these all out of order. This issue, uh, I can't tell you exactly what's on all of these by heart, but this issue was the one with, let me just open it up, the Final Fantasy VII demo. Uh, you could get this demo a couple different ways, uh, but this was one of them, and this was a big, you know, obviously Sony put a lot of money behind advertising Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation. Uh, they didn't publish it themselves, but they sure advertised, let everybody know that it was coming from uh, to PlayStation. I thought Sephiroth was underneath one of these discs. Oh, he's uh, he's on the back. He's peeking through. So your mailman sees this and they're just, what is what is this? What is what is a PlayStation? Uh, here we go. Disc 2, entirely devoted to Squaresoft. I believe... Sorry, uh, this the space doesn't work so great with the microphone here. I believe this is the same demo disc. Actually, let me grab it. Hold on. I believe this is the same demo disc as this demo disc. Let's see. Bushido Blade, Tactics, Saga Frontier. Okay, I thought even the label was the same, but obviously, disc two. Uh, so I think it's the same one as one you could get from Square. And we'll get into this one eventually. I have many, many demo discs uh, to show off. So let's keep moving ahead here and look through the little booklet. 
I probably need a better setup for a little more space when I'm filming stuff this large. Oh my god, it's Spawn. Never mind, Final Fantasy. I would also like to do several videos just playing through everything that's on these discs, but they are all, at this point, pretty well documented. Not least by Giant Bomb, um, who are personal, not, I was going to say personal fans of mine, that's, that's not true. I am personal fans, personal and professional fans of them, uh, and their work with demo discs, even though they goof on a lot of stuff that I still take pretty seriously. Pretty, pretty much to heart. Uh, this is issue three. This does not have a guy's address on the back. Issue three, you know, Blasto. They were trying to make it happen. Uh, this was voiced by Phil Hartman. I'm sure it says, yep, right there. Oh no, this disc is upside down in here. Uh, and the case is cracked, and this disc has a not minimal scratch on it. I don't know why that was upside down. There's our volume three. And let's take a look at our little booklet. Issue three, sorry, not volume three. Uh, one of the other hallmarks of the PlayStation Underground is that there were, um, oh, I thought that was gonna say it there. Uh, they had a lot of codes on these things. Your techno questions, that's not the wording that you wanted to use there. Uh, they would, there would be different screens on the discs. Uh, there was a whole terrible, awesome menu system that you could flip through on the discs. And at different places, you'd punch in codes to unlock uh, hidden demos or hidden videos. And some of them were pretty, uh, like, major demos. Like, you just had to find a code to get this demo. And I guess I definitely never got into it. I was never one to sit there on a screen and just push every button combination to see if it was a code. But some people obviously did. Uh, and the last one for volume one is uh, issue four, the 3D holiday issue. <laughs> Not sure what makes it 3D. Here's our uh, front, inside, and back covers. Uh... I don't know, is that from Cardinal Sin? These guys? Uh, that's kind of a nightmare. This was distributed from Lafayette, Indiana. It's interesting. Do they all say that? Yeah, they do. Uh, and there's our green and red holiday issue discs. That's festive. Uh, also, Spawn. Spawn's very festive. So let's have a look at our little pamphlet. Uh-oh, this one folds out all kinds of different ways. Ah, oh, God, Intelligent Cube is so good. All this PlayStation gear. Whoops, that's not even in there. There we go. PlayStation gear is amazing. So there's Volume 1. Let's move on to Volume 2. Which one is Issue 1? So this was, does it say what year? It's right over here. 97 was the first volume, so this should be 1998. Volume 1 does not have an address on the back. I think they wised up by this point and put the address label on the outside. They didn't print it on the case, so it was shrink-wrapped and they put it on the outside. So we have, uh, this was some of my favorite crap on these discs. Uh, they had the Mr. Science Theater 3000 guys go through some PlayStation video content and goof on it. And let's see what's in this one. Besides Mike. Uh, good old Kaz Hurai. Top dog at Sony America. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he had business cards that just said Kaz Katsuo Hurai. Top dog. Beware, more cool stuff is coming your way. There was a lot of challenging 
people. You know, they they thought that's what what gamers wanted to hear in the '90s was they wanted to be challenged by everything. Uh, you're not man enough to love this brand. We're gonna say beware and watch out. And anyways, issue two. Oh, I guess I uh, need to show the back here. Quit staring and start playing. Demolicious. That's what I should probably call any series that I start about demo discs. There's our discs. Take it for a joyride. Hitting the streets. Oh, the dual shock was so good. Bonus items. Hidden vehicles and tracks in arcade mode. First go to the bonus. Oh, is this uh go to disc one for even more codes? Oh, and the, the following issues they would have a section where they told you the codes for the previous issue. So eventually you'd you'd find out. I wish I had a parappa beanie. And just two more. Volume three, no address. Volume, I keep saying volume. Issue three of volume two. Sir Daniel Fortescue from Medieval. Another thing that they, I guess it was pretty popular. Um, I was never a big fan of Medieval. I was a pretty big fan of the first Spyro. Oh, sorry, I keep tapping this thing on the microphone. So our discs. The PlayStation Underground beckons you inside. Let's take a look then. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm ready. Nah, go ahead. Enter the depths. You know, with fun stuff like Crash Three and Parappa. Get out of your dungeon and into these games. They're terrible. <laughs> oh, what kind of fashion can we get into? I don't think I want any of this. Maybe the backpack. That Jet Moto shirt's pretty cool. Uh, you own it, so don't loan it. Tell your friends to get their own. God, just tell your friends to be a shill like you. That, uh, oh, it does. One more page. Sheesh. It's really glued down there. Parappa's creator. All right, the last one that I own. Someday I should look into getting all of these. So I don't think I even played them. Um, I, at one point I owned a bunch of these and got rid of them, and that's when I bought this lot off of eBay. Somebody had them pretty cheap. So here's volume two, issue four, which would be the end of 98, I believe. Let the holiday gameplay begin. This is one's very shiny. No holiday uh, themed disc colors this time. Still getting used to my camera laptop setup here. Ah, they put a Santa hat on her. Have you been naughty or have you been nice? Calm down. There's, uh, y yep, um, mm, God, not Mark Mothersbaugh. Nope, God, can't, not gonna think. Never mind. That was a good interview, though. Jason Rubin, co-founder of Naughty Dog. Still talking about Crash at this point. More. Lara with a Santa hat on. And another ad for the thing that you probably already own.
members only section of the internet that is definitely a place I wouldn't go today all right so that is all of our PlayStation undergrounds oh, all of ours all of mine all of the PlayStation underground issues I'm just gonna stack them up here and then and that's gonna do it is one of these mine no I'm not even all right there we go. Um, I have plenty more demo discs to go over in future episodes, so stay tuned for those, and thank you for watching.